hello welcome to another video today we're gonna be kitting up two diamond paintings today so the first diamond painting is this lovely kind of mountain landscape and then the other diamond painting is gonna be this um, dragonfly with a lovely inspirational quote let me move you up so you can see the whole thing I believe there are angels among us so so the this is the original image of the dragonfly one and so I just I call this angels among us it's from cool hall they did send me this as a product review and it was $12.99 on their site it's a about a 40 by 40 um, with poured glue round drills that do have DMCs and there were 23 colors in all and then the other one here is the original image isn't it pretty with the mountain and the swan um, so yeah I have zero naming skills I called this mountain and swan um, it's from a colorful DIY this is also a product review um, on their site it's nine dollars and fifty cents it's a 34 by 44 poured glue canvas with round drills that have DMCs and there are 33 colors in all. So I think I'm going to do the one with the lesser amount of colors first. So I'm going to do the dragonfly one. I'm just taking off my sweater because it's actually much warmer than I thought it was. Okay, so, so I'm going to use the Harbor Freight containers for the, the dragonfly and I, here are the drills. I do have a big container here because I can you see this big bag of whatever number one is which is 310 <laughs> So I was like, okay, I'm gonna need the big bag. So since there are only what 20 did I say 23 colors in this one? Then I figured the Harbor Freights are perfect and then I'll use the big container for my 310 So I'm gonna put my 310s into that one. So I did scan the legend and made the labels um and then I also did use a blade and cut these out. Oop. The last two, the, ooh, did I not cut out the last two? Oh no, wait, it's still there. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot these labels have this slit on the back. So after I took off that side thing, it let me, let me just label the last two then. Or now I'll just leave that in there. So, so am I gonna just leave? Well, let's just leave it like that so I don't have to move the big bottle. So I do like to, I don't know why, but I do like to keep the same color in the same container as much as possible instead of having multiple containers. So that's why I got this bigger container. I just got this from the Dollar Tree. So they, these were like 10 for a dollar. And I do like that I can still put them into these Harbor Freight container and they still fit. I'm actually a big fan of just kind of mixing and matching my um, storage containers based off of what I need. So like my next one, I'm going to actually, since there are 33 colors, I actually put the bottle system into the Harbor Freight, outer Harbor Freight container <laughs> so that I could have more. I, yeah, I've been mixing and matching my storage, so it might, it might be like, some people might not like that where I'm... I don't know, mixing around my storage cases, but I'm, I, I'm more of a, I kind of just like to use them where they are practical. So, um, and hence why I'm like, okay, the bottles fit in the, in the Harbor Freight containers and I could put more bottles in there than I could put the Harbor Freight containers. I've actually been able to put some Harbor Freight containers in my 60 bottle case and, um, I was able to fit more of them, more Harbor Freights in there than the bottles. So if that's what, oh, I actually have two extra. Okay, so maybe, maybe I could just put the 310 at the bottom. Just, okay, C993. Okay, put the bot at here just because that's where I feel like I'm gonna need the most of it. Eh, I'll not, I don't want to make an effort to move the label. I can read it. So, 
because I figure it's this is going to be what's closest to me so I just want to be able to to reach it right away so this one it's only labeled with the number on the canvas I'm going to have the canvas right here to make sure I'm actually wondering if this whole 310 will fit in this container this is a lot okay so maybe not Ooh, well I have to Will this fit in just one of these? If it does, then I guess I won't have to take out. Okay, I think I didn't fill the other this container up completely, so I could... Now the question is, do I ma bother making a label because it's obvious it's 310? Or do I make a label because... I'm paranoid and I'll be like, what is this? Unlabeled box. Oh, okay. No, I put in too much in there. Oh, okay. I can't close the other one. Okay, so there might be a little spill. Ah! Okay. Ooh, maybe I should get two of the big container. Do I have any more left? I have two of these big containers and I think I have probably enough space that I could fit two of them in there um, into the container because yeah no I, w I was like I don't want to have three containers of black wow this is a lot of black I don't normally do things with a lot of with this much black so I could pour some of this in here okay I think I think that's good and Put that in there. <clears throat> and will I be able to fit two of them in here? If I put it this way. Wait. Okay, maybe I wasn't thinking this right. There's too many 310s! I don't have enough space in here. Um, if I was if I have one less color. Oh, I know, put put it like this and then the last color will be like that that's okay so as long as I'm able to close it yeah see I'm still able to close it so that's good enough so it won't be pretty but at least or maybe I should no I'll just leave it like that and I'll fix it later I should put another label on though so Let's see. Three ten. Oh wait, I only needed one. Oh well. If I end up having to put the stuff in this direction. Okay. Wow, this is. Okay, right, so number two. I'm just so normally since I don't have. This doesn't have the DMC on there and I don't put in the first number in there. I just use the the color on the label to kind of match. So this this one is more of a blue color and this looks like a gray color, but number three is correct that way. So the rest of this kidding up should be faster. I probably will put these in alphabetical order so that might just change how I place these things. Um, my three tens might move depending on where it is in the alphabet. I, it was a W, so that might be pretty close to the end. So it might just stay there just because one, it's when I diamond paint, this is in front of me. So it might be better that the one with the most is going to be the easy, most easily accessible. So, oh, and I kind of like that these bags are the right size for my, for my spares. So have more bags. See, this is why I haven't bought any bags for my spares because I have I get so many bags from just my sheer amount of diamond painting apparently. So, oh, oh, oh. How did I do that? Okay. Usually, oh, there's a little static on this one. I thought I thought the static would be done. So by now, but nope. Oh, here's Z. So Z is probably going to be next to my three tens in the bottom here since 
I did say I was going to put them in alphabetical order. So, 550 is this lovely purple. Oh, oh, I took out an extra one in there. Okay, there's there's some static in this. Uh, okay. So I, I'm kidding these up because these are the first time I've gotten diamond paintings from these two companies and I do, I do like to at least finish something from from the product review unboxing. I like to at least finish one of them so I could do a complete review of the diamond painting. So both of these and plus I like the I like the images. I wouldn't have chosen them any if I didn't like the images. So it just kind of gives me the next thing I'm diamond painting as opposed to like looking at my stash and be like, what should I do next? Um, I have thought of just randomly choosing what I do next, but I do still have a couple that I still want to do before I, I I get to the point of going randomly. Um, <laughs> and I mean, I do kit up a lot of diamond paintings um, before I even start them. I like having I like having just the the like several diamond paintings kitted up just so that when I choose to, to start another one, I have options of what to start. Because um, like right now, I have, I don't know, probably six diamond paintings kitted up that I have not started. Um, some of them are kitted up a while back and, and, this, and some of them I just kitted up yesterday because yeah, I did, I did a couple kit ups this weekend just because I, I know next weekend I'm not going to have as much time to record videos. So I'm actually kind of almost doing double the amount of videos this week again so that I could have my videos set for the next two weeks. Um, except for my Monday video, I still have to record both of those. I don't know if I'm going to do both of them or just find some time during the week to do my next Monday. I don't know. We'll see. But I am planning to do, right after this, I'm planning to record two, two, no, just one completion video. The other completion video I'm going to record tomorrow just because I, I did just seal a couple diamond paintings and um, it takes time to dry. So I can't do the review until it's dry. So yeah, so... N is green. It, it is, looks a little green here, but it's brown. I think maybe, I think sometimes when they do brown on symbols, it does t look green on the symbols. So I'm, I'm hoping this will be fine. <laughs> I, I, I do have, this was 17 and this is, the N is 17. So I'm hoping that's what they meant. So so yeah, I, I, I'm going to do a completion, I'm going to record a completion review right after this video and then I'm going to record my other completion review tomorrow. Unless the stuff dries, I don't think it will. Well, I don't really want to do it until it's completely dry, so I'll record some tomorrow and then after those I'm going to record my Monday video which I'm still pondering whether to do my next page of my... So, you see, you're not going to even see this until, like, way after this. Like, you're not... This is this is the kidding up that's going to show up ne not this coming Friday, but next Friday. I'm recording this... Is it June 12th right now? I don't know. Maybe it's June 12th. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm recording this two weeks before this is going to get put up. So yeah, so I'm talking about things that are probably going to already be posted. So, But yeah, I didn't really know what to talk about in this video. So I'm just talking about what I'm planning to record next week, next weekend. What was I doing next weekend? Oh yeah, the next weekend, um, someone might come visit. It's not really finalized, you know, it's just one of those like, Oh, I invited someone to come visit and 
until, you know, we finalize it. Eh, we'll see. So, I, I probably won't have as much time next weekend to record, so that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna record my two kidding up videos this weekend, and then I'm gonna record my two completion videos during the week. I've recorded a couple unboxings already. Um, I just have to record the completed part of those unboxings, um, and I actually have to complete one of them first. Um, but we'll see. So there's the first one up. Oh, I should put in my... I will put this in alphabetical order after the video. Unless, you know, the video is really short when I do, after I do my second one, which I doubt it since I'm doing two. But this is why I was doing two, because otherwise I'd be done in like 15 minutes. Um, and plus I want to kit up both of these anyway. So I did, okay, so I put in some of the bottle storage that I got from, I, I think, I don't even remember which one this is, but um, I do like putting it into here because sometimes 60 bottles is just too much. Um, but, but like, I think there's 45 in here. I ran out of bottles, so now, but I don't need 45. I only have 33 colors in this other one. So we'll see how many I need for this. Oh, I'm going to have to get my scissors for this one. You get kind of spoiled when you do the diamond paintings that are in the, in the zip bags. Because it's so much easier sometimes to, to, um pour them in from there. Okay, so I'm just gonna label them all first. For some reason, like the the Harbor Freights, I like them going this way and then these ones I like going this way. I don't know. Um, I'm just taking off the... to make it easier to peel. So, let's see. So these labels are a little smaller just because there was more colors and I, I, if you saw my, how I make my labels, I do just kind of put my legend across eight inches regardless of how many um, colors there are just because it's just easier to print that way. I do like that these seems to be all just letters also and I will probably put these into alphabetical order after. Um, I do like to put my, I, I put them in DMC order while I'm kidding up because it's easier that way. But after I'm finished kidding up, I will put them in alphabetical order. So that's why I like these ones that are single, like container ones, because you can move them around. And then after I'm done, I actually put them back into DMC order because um, I go through the diamond painting, um, the leftover drills, and then I start filling out my, my DMC chart to see what I have like from my finished diamond painting. So then I put them into DMC order for that. And then I, and they're in DMC order for when I kick them down too. So I, it, I mean, I do end up putting them into, like I have to end up rearranging them multiple times, but I find it's easier to find the drills when they're in alphabetical order and I end up just diamond painting faster and because I'm not spending all that time looking for the symbols. Um, and that's why I like it when they're letters and numbers because I can put them into alphabetical order. When they're all symbols, like what order you do you put them in? It's like, it, I, sometimes when it's just all symbols, I just leave them in DMC order because really what's the, what's the point of moving them? So, so yeah, I do have a bunch of extra bottles in the back here for the ones that have a lot. We'll see. So, number one. So yeah, these ones only have like one through, one through blah, blah, blah also. So I'm gonna, since I'm gonna save these bags here, I'm gonna remove the bags from my garbage can just because I don't want to put the bags in the garbage. So I'm just gonna, Put, oh, I don't know. I'll just put them into this big bag because I will use these for when I kit down. I do, I do reuse the bags. So okay, let me put those there. Now my garbage can can be empty for this real garbage because this is all single-use plastic, which 
I, I'm hoping more and more diamond painting companies won't be using these single ones and start doing the zip bags, but I don't know if I don't know if it's just harder to use the zip bags because I don't know who fills the zip bags. Is it people? And then these ones are filled by by machines. Um, because I mean the zip bags, you know, you I have gotten the wrong color inside the bag, even though the label was correct. Uh, so it does happen. So sometimes you kind of trust these ones more, but the fact that these are single use bags, it's just then it just. I mean, I do separate out all my plastic, um, these plastic bags, and then I just recycle them with the plastic bag recycling. Um, but it is a hassle. Okay, so 318. So no, yeah, that. See, that one, it looks blue on this, but it's more of a gray. But I'm correct. I'm looking at the legend. Okay. That. So far, they've all been fitting. And then I'm going to jinx myself by saying that. So let me take a sip of water. <clears throat> yeah, I've pondered whether, like, okay, so sometimes I, I can, I think I kind of kit up very efficiently. So I could kit up a diamond painting in less than 20 minutes, lots of times. So I've, I've decided to try out these longer kit ups where, well, if it's, if it's going to be a short kitting up, I will do two. So if you guys prefer these longer kit ups where I kit up two, or do you just like having just a 15 minute, 15 to 20 minute kit up? I don't know. Um, but I just decided it's just more efficient for me to, to kit up two at once. Um, I might, I have so many diamond paintings and so much storage, so I'm not worried about like not having storage to kit up two at a time. And <laughs> if you know, if it is one of those ones that is going to be a quick kit up, um, especially if it is going to be a quick kit up, it might also be a quick diamond painting. Not necessarily always the case, but um, but yeah, if it's a quick kit up, it usually means the diamond painting will also be quick, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's just if, if this is how I used to kit up, like I used to kit up like multiple in a day because apparently um, that's how I like it. And I like having multiple ready for me to go. But it does, I do end up having some diamond paintings that I have kitted up that I haven't even started. Like I have, I have two that I kitted up, I think back in. February maybe that I have not even started because I, I keep getting like these other ones that I'm like oh I want to do that one instead um, but that's okay I apparently it'll give me a reason to buy more storage right <laughs> like I need more storage I still have to do my storage um, stash video huh I keep meaning to do it and then I just and then but then I'm like I have to then I have to gather all my storage together and I have my storage you know I have my storage in, I have one cube storage that I have my finished stuff that I need to de-kit and then I have another cube storage where I have all my empty storage containers. Well, I have two of those now because I have that many. And then I have another cube storage where I have the stuff I have kitted out. And then when I saw, when I was trying to see what I should do next and I saw that it was pretty empty, I was like, okay, I need to start doing two in a week because I like, I like having the option. So after I kit this up, I don't know. Well, I have like eight kit. I don't even know how many I have kitted up. Either way, I, I have, I have plenty of storage. So I need to, I need to find more like long-term projects so that it'll take up my storage. So, so then I have a reason to have so many. Well, I like all these blues. Am I on 14? Just making sure. Okay, yes, I'm on 14. Is X. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really have a topic to talk about today. I think I used up all my talking points in my last kit up video that I recorded yesterday. And I still have to figure out what I'm gonna what I'm going to record for my Monday video. I'm thinking I might do a kitty down. I'm really behind on my kitting down. Um 
maybe I should just kit down some off screen, but it gives me motivation to kit them down if I do it on screen, because because yeah, when I guess the hazards of having too much storage is that you don't need to kit down because you still have more storage. Um, but yeah, no, my kitting down cube storage is actually getting kind of full. Um, I do have like a whole bunch of like special shapes and rhinestones that I haven't kitted down for a long time just because I don't know what I was going to do with it yet. So I still have to figure that out, how I'm going to put away my my rhinestone diamond paintings because they are taking up some of my storage that I'm like... And I've been like postponing kitting them down just because I don't know what to do with them. But I do have... yeah. I think I'm gonna... yeah. We'll see. I don't know what I'll, what I'll record. I'm gonna record it after this, like I said earlier. I'm just planning all out. Um, but this video is gonna be shown right like after those are even posted. So you no, know, my videos I don't record them in order. Um, so far, I've been had to. I haven't had to go into two bottles. So, yeah. So I guess this one has a lot of colors, but maybe not that much color blocking. Or I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It's not that. It's not confetti heavy. It's, it's, it's decent. Um, I think after doing like the Dreamer designs, like Reverie, like no confetti seems horrible to me. Like that one had so much confetti that anything else is just like, eh, it's, it's not that bad. So. Yeah, and I don't mind confetti so much. It's just it's just more like a it just means that I have to take longer to do the diamond painting and then I have to change out the drill colors more often. But I tend when I do confetti, I tend to work on a very large section and if I don't finish it that day, then I just put the plastic covering back over it. So while I do diamond paint in sections, if I don't finish the section, if I only have a little bit of time, I'm not going to go just do a tiny section. I'm still going to do the big section. I'm just not finish it and work on it the next day. But if I do pause a diamond painting, I will finish a section first before I pause. So I won't leave it like at with the section kind of started indefinitely. So I will finish the section before I would pause uh a diamond painting so and then I know usually when I enjoy a diamond painting a lot I will end up just like keep wanting to do it if there's a point where a diamond painting gets tedious like and I don't want to do it anymore I'm just like okay maybe I should do something else just because if, you're, if it's getting to that point where a diamond painting is no longer fun then that takes takes away the purpose of diamond painting it's supposed to be fun um, if it's starting to become a chore, then that's when I go work on something else, just because it's not supposed to be a chore. So yes, that's this is why I also have a bunch that are started that I didn't finish it yet, but I will finish it. I know, you, like last year in December, I just was like, okay, I'm go. I had like this one diamond painting that I. I had started back in July that I never finished and in December I was like okay I can't start the new year with this like diamond painting unfinished so that's what I'm probably gonna do this year is like in December I'm gonna be like okay what are all my unfinished ones or maybe starting November I'll be like okay what are all my unfinished ones um, I need to start working on them I can't do anything new or I'll still do some of the Christmas ones because that's what it's Christmas diamond paintings are so fun um, but but yeah, towards the end of the year, I might if I if I do still have a whole bunch of whips, I might just go through them and be like, okay, I have to finish these. And then if I have to just do one section of each one and switch to a different diamond painting because it was frustrating, I'll get through them. I have I have yet to not like yeah, I have yet to not like start a diamond painting and never finish it. So Now, I w that doesn't mean I'm going to go finish everything I have kitted up. I might have stuff kitted up since like ancient times and not finish it. But yeah. 
I will try to finish these two at some point since it is part of a product review. It does kind of give me a little motivation when I feel like, okay, I'm doing this one for a reason, not just for me. But if it's, like I said, I'm doing, I do this for fun. If, if it starts being not fun, I won't just keep going. Oh, I don't know. I've done that too. I like diamond paint. I, diamond painting, the process, I actually have fun diamond painting. Like the process of diamond painting is, is fun for me. So the only time I get frustrated with it is when it's like when the drills are bad quality or the symbols are hard to read. Um, that's when I get frustrated with it. Or if the picture is so horrible that I actually is, that's not as bad to me as if, as the drills being horrible, but, but yeah. All right. So last color, I did this one really quick also, and it doesn't look like any of them needed us extra bottle. So uh, it fits, will it fit, will it fit? So yeah. There's this one finished. I will probably put these in alphabetical order after the video, but do you really need to watch me put things in alphabetical order? But yeah, here is this one finished. Um, but yeah, this is why I said I think I'm a very efficient diamond painter um, kidding upper, because I finished these two in like 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, um, these are gonna be some that I work on in the near future. I'm actually almost finished with my current project right now. And then I have four that I just kitted up this weekend that I'm gonna be like, which one do I wanna do first? But yeah, we'll see. All right, so thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.